Hey everyone, Justin Morris here. I'm back to reveal to you one of the greatest effects over the last uh, month that's come out. It's called Sleeper by Yoan O'Hare, and I probably just butchered that name. <clears throat> Sorry if I did butcher that name, but uh, it's a great effect. It's a rising card effect, but the most incredible thing about this rising card effect is it uses any deck. It's completely, uh, once you're set up for it, it's completely impromptu. You can grab any deck of cards and just do this. The, any card in the deck can rise out of the deck. Uh, the deck is fully examinable, and the best part is that it can be done in any spectator's hand. It's absolutely incredible, and I'm going to show you how it's done. It's actually uh, way easier to do than you might even think. So this is uh, this is actually all you're going to need. Uh, and the reason is, if you've got this stuff at home, which many of you probably will, you can do this effect. So you're going to get in the mail two things. One is a package of thread and some magician's wax and I don't know if the camera yeah so you can see the magician's wax and uh, invisible thread now I'm not going to explain to you how to strip all the invisible thread and to make it invisible and all that stuff so I'm going to show you just with uh, the large piece here so I'm not actually going to strip it so that you'll be able to uh, see the thread what you're going to do is you're going to strip out a good amount of thread and so I've got a quite a bit of thread here and it might be hard to see in the camera. I think the camera's picking it up just fine. So, of course this would be stripped so you would be able to see it. You're going to take a little ball of the magician's wax, just a little tiny pellet, and you're going to, well not a tiny pellet but a good sized pellet I guess, and you're going to hang that on one end of the thread, and then the other th end of the thread you're going to use another ball pellet and you're going to wrap it onto the other end and I'm not going to cut this off because I don't want to waste my waste my thread but you take this wax and what you're going to do is you're going to attach that wax on the very back of your neck just right in the right here and so you're going to go back you're going to stick that on your the back of your neck so that the thread goes over your face so now you kind of look like, here I'll tilt this down a bit, now you've got this uh, ball of wax just hanging here in front and this is invisible usually, so usually you don't see, um, sorry it sticks to my, sticks to my whiskers here, um, so they don't see this going on, but you can go around all night like this and nobody's going to be uh, any, uh, nobody's going to actually notice that. So. You can go all night like this and it tickles a little bit, but nobody will notice. So, uh, you approach the table, you're like, hi, can I help you? Sorry. Uh, hi, can I show you a trick? And this is good. So then you take your deck of cards and again, this can be shuffled. You can have them shuffled. Sorry, it really tickles. Um, <clears throat> they can shuffle it as much as they like and when they're done, you take it back and they select any card. You can have them touch a card or whatever. And let's say they look at a card. And if you're lucky, you can have it signed too. What you're going to do is... Actually, I think just about all of these cards are signed by me. So anyway, sorry. Let's say they choose a card. And while they're, you're showing them the card like this, behind what you're going to do is you're going to grab that ball of wax, wherever it is here. Grab that ball of wax and you're going to press it onto the card here. So they have this card selected, you bring this up to show them, you press this ball of wax onto the, the card behind, they look at it, you put all the cards together. Excellent. So now what you've got, you've got the ball of wax, which is going to go to the back of the selected card, and you're going to give that just a little bit of a squeeze, not a crazy hard squeeze, just a little bit of a squeeze, and then you're ready to go. So now, whenever you want, all you got to do is just simply drop the deck of cards. Oh, it's coming off the back of my neck here. So you're going to drop the deck of cards in your hand here and hold them loosely. And as you drop your hand, the card looks like it rises out of the deck. It's a very cool effect. Now they can't, it's very angly. You can't do it from the sides because they're going to see you have two cards there. Because that's what's happening is you're actually getting... Um, both of those cards coming up with the wax pellet in between. So you do this, 
perfect. Oh, I'm out of frame there. You do this, it comes out, and you want to grab it before, of course, it does that. So, that's okay. Let's do that one more time. They select guard. You say, great. Try to. <laughs> there. Grab it like this. Put it on the back. Little squeeze. And then you drop your hand, and that card rises out. Just like that. Now, to clean up. You want to put this on the face of the deck and peel off. That was the wrong card. Oh. <laughs> it works. It works honest. So then you put it on the front of the deck. You peel off that card and you can hand that to them. And then with your nail, you're going to scrape off that pellet and just uh, let it dangle again. And you're good to go. And the deck can be examined. Now, if you're going to have a spectator do it, this is the really cool part. You go through the you do the exact same thing, put it on there, show them the card that uh, they've chosen, put it together. Now, it's all about audience management. You want to make sure that, that you get their hand to hold the deck just like this, or you can have them cup their hands like this, and you want them to do it in your space. So you say, bring your hands right here, you put this in their hands, and then all you do is with your hand, you wave over top of their card, or over top of the deck, and you're going to catch the string and the crux of your thumb there, wave your hand, and that's going to float right up uh, to about there, and then of course you can grab it and pull it out. Um, but you just don't want to like sneeze or something and like pull the card out, because uh, otherwise that's uh, that's just a little ridiculous. So um, that's the uh, that's the rising card, that's sleeper for you if you um, if you were wondering. So. Um, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoy that. It's totally uh, easy, easy to do. Um, if you haven't purchased it already, get it from Theory 11. It's going to be awesome. You're going to really enjoy it. Anyway, till next time, see you later.